Okie dokie divas, diamond art club lovers, and diamond painting lovers in general. I've got a beautiful, beautiful painting for you today. I can't wait to show it to you. It's from Diamond Art Club. It is a recent release. It has already been released, and people have been ooing and eyeing over it. And when I saw the colors of this and the subject, I couldn't resist. It's been cheering me up. Even after, you know, some dark days, dark weeks, it's been cheering me up, knowing that this was going to be waiting for me at home. I'm trying to find the kit. The kit is in here. Sometimes, sometimes I have to be forceful with it here it out the other end here. All right. This is a square painting. You get a little thumbnail picture that comes with it. You get a fun toolkit that not only covers the necessities of diamond painting, it also gives you some fun goodies. You get a bag o baggies. That's to help you kit up. <clears throat> it's a square kit, so you get a pointy tweezers. And I do use my tweezers. I really like them. I like to use them. You get a pen and a squishy. This time I got purple. Yo ho! Love that purple. You get a heart with two hearts of wax that are more than enough to do a complete kit. You get a tray, a clear tray with gold flecks in it and a stopper on it. Love, love, love the stopper. I have a tendency to shake things around so good they go all over the place. And for your pen, you get two, the other one's still in there. Yep. You get two multi-placers, one a large one and one a small one. A four and a seven, I believe. Something like that. Get in there. You also get the fun things of washi tape, a random washi tape. And I use that to go around the edges to keep my edges straight and clean. Because these lot bigger ones do take some time to do. And they have a tendency to create static electricity and, you know, collect all the animal hairs that you might have laying around. And there's a cover minder, and this time I got a donut. A funky orange donut with green glaze and sprinkles. Yep. <laughs> That's the fun part. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah. I'll put that aside for now. I'll give you a glimpse of the kit. Oh, I know. Not a very good glimpse. I get it. These are the colors that come with the kit. Beautiful blues, greens, purples, pinks. Ooh, well there's at least two ABs that I found. A blue. Oh, I think I see a green shimmery one in here. But purples and pinks and reds and blues, oh my goodness. Yum! You get your tr your uh, instruction kit with you, all your discounts on it. Mm. Now, I've always wanted to plant a butterfly garden to attract these gorgeous creatures. What am I doing? I've always wanted to set up a butterfly garden with summer flowers that attract butterflies and have these beautiful creatures fluttering. Flitterbys all over it. Well, it looks like Wanda Mum has done that in a diamond painting. This is a 30 inch by 22 inch, 76 by 56 centimeters. It's called Butterfly and Delphinium. 
Delphinium is the flower that you see in the background here. Look at the gorgeous pinks and blues and purples next to these bright, beautiful butterflies. There's a monarch up here and over on the other side. You can't see it. It's trying to curl up on me over here. But you got some bright pinks on this side too. Can you see that? Oof. It's like a forest of flowers. Can you just smell that? If you were a butterfly, I'm sure you would be attracted to the scent and the sights of these gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. Heck, I can't smell them and I'm attracted to it. All right, one, two, three, four ABs, Aurora Borealis. And let's see, we have a like a chartreuse, like a greeny yellow. We have a light blue, a white, let's see, two different colors of white. Two shades of white there. In 54 colors, yes. Love it, love it. They always do a very clear job with the symbols. They don't put things next to each other that you wouldn't be able to tell the difference of. Butterfly and delphinium. There's your little sticker thing and this is your big sticker thing. Let me show you the thumbnail up close and personal. So in case you can't see it correctly on my table here, at least you can see the thumbnail in all its glory here. This is the sticker for your notebook. If you keep a notebook of what you've done. And on the side, of course, you have the stickers that you can use to kit up. They're individual numbers of the colors. Let's look at these beautiful drills again. Holy cow. There's a blue. Where are the ABs? Oh, there's a green in here. Two shades of white. So I'm not going to find them in the drill pack right now. And these gorgeous resin drills that are like butter to put on here. They are so... The square drills from Diamond Art Club, don't be afraid of them. They are perfect. I have never had a popping problem, especially with these new square drills. It's just absolutely amazing. So we need the numbers one, two, three, and four. We have four in the wings of the butterflies. Yes, there's a two in that butterfly. That's an anchor that's on number two, sorry. <laughs> okay then, let's keep looking. The number ones are in the back, the greens in the background in between the flowers. Yep. The number two is the blues and they are in the delphiniums themselves, especially on the edges here and in the centers. And we need, what number do we need yet? Threes, threes are in the pinks. So it's a light pink. The threes are in the pink delphiniums. So you got sparkle on this side, sparkle on this side, sparkle sprinkled throughout the butterflies. And in the, the green in the background, the blue, yeah, green in the background. It's not beautiful. I could just like, ah. Oh. This is a garden I can imagine myself in, can't you? A garden you can imagine yourself in. Smelling the beauty of the flowers. As you watch the butterflies dancing on the flowers. I can. Wow. Diamond Art Club, you've done it again. Wanda Mum, M-U-M-M. -M. You have one gorgeous painting here. Absolutely unbelievably gorgeous. It's going to be a joy to do this one. Well, thanks again. While you're down at the subscribe button, the, click the subscribe button, click the little bell to notify you when the next, um, when my next video will come out for all things creative and crafty. 
with a little bit of inspiration sprinkled in. I hope you like these unveilings, these unwrappings. I know I get excited when I see new things to help you make a decision as to whether you're going to purchase it or not. I am coming out with a bunch of new things um, for free for you. I'm doing a uh, an Excel spreadsheet type of thing of all the different over 70, 70, over 70 different diamond painting companies and like an evaluation of them and the different uh, things that they you so you can compare companies before you reach out and and uh, purchase something from these companies obviously diamond art club is one of the top it's a top tier uh, the prices may be a little more the prices have been coming down honestly I, looking at these the prices have been coming down the the um, canvases are not so gargantuanly huge that you can't do them that you feel like when you get into the middle of them oh my gosh I just can't get through it um, I haven't ever found that I've finished all the ones I've started so far so that isn't me but I know some people get lost in the middle of a large painting and don't want to go any further because they're tired of it that's when I hit for a snack size like a 30 by 40 or 30 30 that's just a, a cute little thing in the midst of, of doing the long ones but I'm telling you um, I have some from other companies that are absolutely huge that I have to start yet so and I want to but anyway this is a chart that's going to help you make your decision as to whether you want to buy from a company or not do they license their artists are there square drills or round drills any different are they are the drills acrylic or are they resin? Are they, you know, good drills or not? Do you have any trouble with them? That kind of thing. So, hopefully, I believe it will be of use to you. If you can think of something that you would like to be on the evaluation sheet as I'm doing it, Please uh, note that in the comments below. What would you like me to compare between diamond paintings to keep on, to put on that uh, comparison list? I want it to be useful to you. So you tell me what you'd like to see on there. And I'll let you know. All right? So thank you, Diamond Art Club, again for a gorgeous, gorgeous canvas. A beautiful offering here. And welcome to Wanda's Work Basket, for all things creative and crafty, with a little bit of inspiration in between. So, I will see you next time, divas. Bye.